Hello everyone. Let's discuss about closure property of a topological space. Let us consider a subset of a topological space. Let it be A. Then the intersection of all closed sets in capital X containing A is called as the closure of A. Let's write down all these things. Let capital A be a subset of a topological space. Then the intersection of all closed sets in capital X containing A is called the closure of A. So it's denoted by A bar or sometimes we write CL of A or directly CL A, CL of A. Therefore, A bar is the thing but the intersection of all closed sets. Let's consider GF as a closed set. Okay. GF is closed. And this F is closed in X and this A should be the subset of F. Right. Containing A. The closed set should contain this A itself. Then we call this as closure of A. Let's consider one example and by that example let's understand all the all these things or the definition of close, closure. So let us consider one set capital X containing four elements A, B, C and D. Let's derive one uh, tau which contain X, M, T, singleton set A, set containing two elements A, B, set containing three elements A, B, C. Okay, let's stop here. Now let's check this is topology or not. X and MT belongs to tau. Okay, first property holds. Second property is for union. Union of any two members of tau be the member of tau. Um, the union of singleton set A and set containing two elements AB. Its union is AB itself. Yet this AB belongs to tau. Union of these two. Uh, set containing two elements a b and set containing three elements a b c its union is set containing three elements a b c again this belongs to tau empty and uh, any of them belongs to tau itself x and any of these members union again x itself so union property holds third property is for intersection intersection of a and two elements um, single uh, set containing two elements uh, singleton set A itself, right? So this belongs to tau. And these two, its intersection is set containing two elements A, B. This also belongs to tau. Its intersection, singleton set A and set containing three elements A, B, C. Here, A is a value, right? Which belongs to tau. And uh, intersection, any of with empty is empty itself. Empty belongs to tau. Intersection with X and that particular set is a value right so that also belongs to tau so we can tell that tau is a topology on x okay now let's find out closure of any of the subset of x let consider any of the subset singleton set a okay which is the subset of x C here A B a subset of a topological space. Let's consider this as capital A, which is the subset of capital X, right? Let's find out the closure of this. Okay, closure of this. So closure of any subset A is defined as the intersection of all closed sets in capital X containing capital A. Right? Okay. We need to consider all the closed sets containing singleton set A. Okay, before proceeding all these things, let's find out the open sets. Open sets. See here, X is a non of the open set. X empty is one of the open set. Singleton set AB, one of the open set. Set containing two elements AB, one of the open sets. Set containing three elements ABC, one of the open sets. Let's find out 
all the closed sets relative to this. So x minus x. When we are complementing the open sets, we get closed sets, right? X minus x. X minus x is empty itself. X minus empty is x itself. X minus singleton set A. Sin A A singleton set A. X here. So we left with B C D. Okay. X minus set containing two elements A B. We left with C D. Set. X minus this A, B, C we left with singleton set D. These are the closed sets. Now we need to find out the closed set which contains this A. See here, X contains A. Next, set containing these three elements B, C, D not containing that A. So it will not come. Next, set containing A in closed sets. See here, C, D is there. So it is not containing C. So this is also not come. D D. So this is also not con. Then not containing C, A. So only X is containing A. So closure of singleton set A, A is X itself. Okay. So this is the rule. Let's go with um, another subset of capital X. Let's consider this closure of a singleton set D. Okay. Closure of singleton set d let's find out this see here we need to find out all the closed sets containing d x contains singleton set d next see here b c d is there it is containing d itself right so we need b c d again next c d is containing the element d so here d Next singleton set D. Okay. Here C D right. C D. Okay. Next here D. Okay. All these subsets are containing the element D. We need the intersection of all these closed sets. Intersection of all this. C here. Intersection. Okay. Intersection. Now intersection of all these is singleton set D itself. Right. X intersection this is set containing three elements B C D. This intersection this is set containing two elements C D. This intersection this is D itself. So this is the value of closure of singleton set D. Similarly, let's take another example. Let's the uh, let's consider the subset as um, A C. Okay. This AC is one of the subset of capital X we have derived. See here, the set should contain or the closure sets should contain the element A and C, right? X contains, X contains two members AC. Next, see here, here BCD not A is there. So, which is uh, which will not come this set will not come here C D A is not there so this closed sets also will not, set is also will not come will not be considered and so this is only D in, uh, it will not come X is the only set which containing two elements A and C this closure of A C is X itself let's consider one more one more example C D closure of C D. Okay, we need to consider the closure sets which contains the elements C and D. X is one of these set. B C D is containing C D, right? So B C D. We need intersection of this. And next C D. So this is also containing element. Next D not containing right so intersection of all these is cd itself so closure of cd is cd so intersection of all closed sets in capital x containing the particular set which is the subset of capital x is called closure of that particular set capital a i hope you understand all these things i will come with one more topic in my next video